All righty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our second best of three today. It's going to be Went Out versus Selfless, starting off on Dust 2, going over to Cash, and if we need it, Cobblestone will finish things off. And this is going to be a wild ride. Like they said on the analyst desk, this isn't a map that Selfless really plays all that often. Mega Man and Sprawl bringing in the action. Let's talk about it a little bit here while we go into the pistol round. Yeah, I'm very curious to see what Winout brings on it. Like they had stated on the desk, we've seen them on Cobble and we've seen them on Train. And uh, that's pretty much the extent of our knowledge. I'm super excited to see how Dust2 goes because specifically Tempo Storm, Luminosity, they have some pretty cool styles on this map. I wonder if it transitions into something here. But again, Winout on the CT side to start and an aggressive cat walk play yeah, opportunity for a couple of openers here or at least a lot of information to be gained but it's destiny by himself he's gonna get overrun he's also got a teammate behind him yell who does trade one for one and pkl is there and that was the x factor is pkl gonna be on form the way he was yesterday we'll see if he can continue on in this matchup the way that he finished things off yesterday on uh cobblestone against winter fox so Bomb plan is coming in towards the A bomb site. It's going to be a full retake, one towards long. Not even checking towards pit, but pit oh, spins and no. finds Nifty. And now that man advantage. They're feeling really alone here in this A bomb site. They're going to have to take the fight towards catwalk, and they actually win both of those with Mitch and Mainline locking it down. It's all on bit 1v2. One down in CT spawn, and the other one up here in towards quad. This is going to be a very difficult retake. Mainline trying to buy some time here. He does eventually jump out, takes quite a bit of damage. The knife kill looking oh. to come in, but it will be denied. And uh, that would have been really unfortunate if Nifty missing that frag and pit actually was the, the kind of determining factor for the round. That would have been a very upsetting thing because Selfless, again, they were in a good position on that three on three. Uh, luckily, they still take the round. And again, I think that means, uh, yeah, they will be obviously feeling good. Taking pissed around here on Dust 2. Again, went out to map choice says, we will see a scout buy on Yell. We got uh, a couple deagles to work with and it is that force buy from the win outside. Yeah, and Yell actually trying to work this pick against Nifty in mid. This is actually really, really cool because we're going to get to see uh, hopefully an op versus op battle later on in this half once uh, the economy gets right for both sides. But again, I mean, they're still battling it out here in middle. Yell has been tagged down to 50, so one more bullet's going to finish him off if they do manage to land that shot. But the big thing right now is he's just playing the patient game, and there he finally does go down. Nifty's going to finish that one off, but it's Destiny up close on long A. Pop Flash comes out, and he is just completely wrecked, but it's PKL with the one dig, but it's still a three for one here, favoring Selfless as they just play the pickoff game into this anti-eco round. Uh, Uber going to find Knack. It's now only bit as he'll creep up towards long A. Excellent flash, though. Almost hits the shot still, but uh, it will be Relics to take him down, and Selfless survive with four players. Considering, again, the buy they were up against, that's fantastic. Uh, you can't underrate the fact that now they move into this round, and if they can do similar things, you would think that this is even easier to keep your economy stable. And uh, you got Relic still with an SMG, as well as Mitch, so more money to be made. Yeah, and we were kind of talking to each other before this matchup started on, the, on who needs to step up for what side, and I think yep. really... Um, my main factor here for Selfless is Uber and Relics. I want to see Relics step up in a big way, and uh, it's just going to be a rush beat on stop here. Mitch going to find first blood, and Relics is going to be there as well. Those SMGs going to work, leading the charge for the uh, Selfless side. But it's like I said, I mean, it, as far as Selfless is concerned, you know, we've seen individual performance do relatively well, but really it needs to be Uber and Relics that step up for these teams, and hopefully they can do so. Nifty's got to be solid with the AWP. He's going to have opportunities on maps like Dust 2. And if they need it, uh, cobblestone. Uh, even on cash, you know, CT side opping could be a big factor into that one. But five alive for the uh, selfless side. It's going to just do nothing but strengthen the economy. And you can see every single player is up over 5,300. And Relics is actually up near 9K three rounds in. Do they upgrade? Are they going the green route here? I like to see this. As the Jaden round? Mm, well, find out. It looks to be the case as uh, yeah. Nifty keeping that scout in hand. We got Mitch with the MAC-10. And... Relics, I feel like, has the most viable uh, to, with the armor penetration and such, and I like that they just go for a B rush. This is, as much as you could say it's maybe not the best idea, but if it works, it is just creating incredible mind games for the rest of the rifle rounds moving forward, and, well, it's looking damn good, considering the weaponry as well. Not a bad way to go about it. Yell is still in the window, but he does not have teammates with him just yet. Yeah, that's the big thing. I mean... I figured it was just going to be an accelerated strat, and they just Holy carpet fire. bomb outside. Yeah, they carpet bombed outside of the B bomb site to force off that player from window. And uh, if he actually falls back, he's going to take a little bit more damage. Now, granted, he only took 10 points of damage from that. 
It might have actually been from a nade. He might have actually gotten out of that beforehand. But these smokes, well placed. Good use of the utility here from the terrorist side. Wow, these and that flashes. actually gets relics out through double doors through the smoke. And he does manage to find one. Nifty is there as well. He's not going to be able to make it happen. Wow. And actually, simultaneously, Destiny finally lurking through that tunnel smoke. Going to be able to find one more player. And that closes out the round for win out. So they're going to win the first gun round. You can already hear them getting rowdy. And that's just Brazilian CS, man. Yeah, so Selfless, I, I thought that they did an incredible job holding off Winout until they decided to flash Relics out. And, and yeah, he gets the one for one, but I feel like in that situation with how much time is left, allow the CTs to come your direction and, and make it work. Because after that, they even got aggressive again and had a player outside of the B-bomb site. And yeah. Winout just able to uh, capitalize on those mistakes, if you want to call them that. But Well... I'm not really sure also why they sent Nifty out there. He had a UMP. Granted, yeah. you know, you want to get up close, play behind the boxes, but he exposed himself yeah. in that position, and he ended up getting taken down immediately, and simultaneously his teammate had no backup in that in the bomb site. I would like to see him turtle up a little bit more, play underneath a window, play some more more common post-plant spots, but strong post-plant spots. I just I didn't really like that double push out from B-double doors. That cost them the round there. Definitely. So moving forward, we will see, considering that was a very green round, as I like to call it, uh, they have plenty of money to buy here. Nifty, it looked like he was able to tag Knack as he crossed towards the B-bomb site. So initial damage dealt. Mitch is going to find a frag on a bit. And uh, Winnow, they do not want to drop this round. Of course, the economy of Counter-Strike, do not want to pick up a round, lose the one That's thereafter as Mitch finds his second. And uh, very, we're, we're still a minute five left in the round, and it's a three on, uh, three on five with Knack very low. Yeah, I didn't really like that with Yell trying to pick up the M4 in middle. I'm not really sure why he decided to go for that. He had an AK. A um, little bit of a misread there. It, it costs him his life. He doesn't even really do much damage to Mitch. He's still at 66 HP. They've got full cat control, mid control if they want it. Only one player solo on B right now. That's Knack. He's at 38 HP. So he's going to bomb some flashes. He's actually fully blinded. They're going to push on through, and he loses his life. So... B bomb site open for business. Nifty lurking around here in the mid double doors should be able to catch out at least one or not. Destiny's going to go ahead and take him down, but in the meantime, PKL goes down into 1v4. And uh, Selfless, I mean, this is going to be a reset right here. They lost three members in the last gun round on win outside. They lose all but one. Destiny's trying to hold on to the AWP. That would be nice to carry into the next round if he can. They know exactly where he is. He's got 25 health. But uh, this is going to be that hard reset that we always talk about after the first gun round, trading rounds. Yeah, and I like that, again, like you highlighted, oh, Destiny, he tries to save the op, like you had stated as well. He's been spotted, so to just run into long A pit, maybe he could make it work, but uh, he decides to stick around, try his luck that way. But the AWP is one of those weapons that bring it into a round where the rest of your team is saving. You can be very impactful and, and even create an early four on five if you can find that pick, and specifically on Dust2 as well. It's one of the maps where you have that middle duel so early on. If, uh, if they were willing to go against Nifty. But nonetheless, we move forward four to one. Selfless, they are off to the early lead. And just to remind anybody joining us now, uh, Winout, this is their map choice. So uh, we'd like to see a strong start from them. Again, able to upset Winter Fox. And here we are now. But see what they can get done on the Seco. Yeah, I mean, hardly anything invested. A couple P250s on the board. The rest are going to be on stock pistols. Not really going to be a whole lot, but Ben actually finds one aggressive there in mid, takes down mainline, gets an AK for it. That solo play from mainline ends up costing him his life. Doesn't really do much damage either. So uh, now they've got a rifle to work with. Granted, they have no armor. They do have a flash on bit as well if they wanted to get re-aggressive here in mid. But the biggest part about this is just the fact that they need to be able to utilize that rifle and continue on. I would actually like to see Bit, since he has a P250, find like PK, uh, PKL or Destiny and swap that pistol just to at least maybe increase the firepower a little bit for one of the other players that are on the eco round two. Um, but of course, you know, it's it's kind of gets a little chaotic. I yeah. like this push from Destiny, though. He might catch Uber. Oh, uh, catch. Okay. That didn't work out as well as he had planned. Nifty able to take down Bit and Uber. We'll find two with the P90. So that AK is still alive and well, and PKL finds the first headshot. Can't follow it up. His aim punch is going to be unfortunate, and Mitch is able to clean up the round. So Selfless up 5-1. to one. And uh, again, this is a fantastic start for them, like they had talked about on the desk moving into the next map. you got to think Selfless is going to be very strong on that as well. So Winout can't afford a, a slow start here. No, not at all. And I mean, this is double save territory. You're, you're going to see them buy up. PKL's got a kit. They upgrade some pistols. The money bonus is starting to ramp up here. But they want to put the AWP in the hands of Yell. They need to have that firepower um, for holding either Cat Cross in towards the A-bomb site, uh, getting a quick pick down on long A, 
Uh, it'd still be a little bit risky with Nifty having an AWP to try to go for that mid pick. Um, back plat B, there's so many different spots that you can put an AWP on this map and have it be useful that they just need to be able to have that because they haven't had an AWP in the hands of Yelp yet in this matchup. So that's obviously why they wanted to go for the double save. They could have gone for Famases and a couple of M4s, but playing it safe, there's still a lot of time in this half. And the same thing to mainline again. That's two rounds yep. in a row. And, that's and it's Bit that does it to him twice. <laughs> That's one of the angles that you have to be so worried about on an anti-eco. It's one of the close-range angles to take uh, advantage of, and the fact that they have had that happen twice now where, well, the refrag does come in, but the last round, uh, no one there to trade. But for the ring on here, we will see Mitch pick up a double kill towards the catwalk. Yell Ooh, falls. Mitch, goodness. that was a Dirty. good shot from him. Knack is now in a 1v4. And uh, we'll see if he can get any damage dealt here. Again, Mitch is the lowest and actually is the most vulnerable as he's lurking towards middle, but yeah, he does have relics for with this. him. Yeah, he should have this lined up, but see how it pans out. And indeed, he will find his quad kill. So Mitch looking good. And uh, selfless, they will continue the dominance. But to be fair, this is uh, what they've been saving for. So here's uh, some questions answered as Yell picks up the op. Yeah, and I knew that this was coming. It's just going to really be a matter of where does he take it. And he's actually aiming like he's going to go towards, well, he was looking towards A. Now he's looking towards mid. Maybe going to play on back plat B. But really, the thing is, is they're, they're getting picked off so early in these rounds that uh, it doesn't really make too terribly much of a difference where, especially like go towards B, they they rushed B two rounds in a row because they were on, this, on the anti-eco and then they had that weird buy. But Relics just pushes long and wrecks Destiny and now PKL is all by himself on the site. He does have support from CT. This is gonna have to be Yell hitting some really nice shots, but he's completely smoked off. PKL's all by his lonesome, trying to find these bullets, but Oof. Relics again, I mean, that's back-to-back -back breaks for him. Bit goes down, Relics having a round this time around. It was Mitch last round, it's Relics this time. Mitch is going to chime in on the knack, and it's all down to yell 1v5. He's in the smoke. He's going to get spotted, but he hits a nice shot there on the Uber. Not ready for Nifty down in the pit, so another round for Selfless, 7-1. to one. That was really unfortunate for PKL there as he, uh, his He's barrel was actually just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> his barrel just sticking out, and uh, Relics just finds his head through the box. So, you know, they're going to be on another eco, and I'm curious, is Mainline's, is this the retro Selfless logo? Like, is this, like, before... This is like a, it's like a, the, the, it's a person, but it's blank. It reminds me of Guess Who, if you ever played that game back yeah, in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyhow, shout out to Mainline, as we will see a B-side play, Selfless. They're going to have Mainline find an early frag towards middle. Knack, not able to find very much, as they do have members in this bomb site, but Bit is now all alone, and he will fall in a similar fashion. Selfless, just... Relics is having a game right wow. now. And I, I told you at the beginning of this that I wanted to see Relic step up. I wanted to see Uber step up as well. Relic's with a 4K. He's 17 and 3 right now. We're nine rounds in. He's 17 and 3. He's almost sitting at a two frags per round ratio right here. That is a monster performance starting this one off. You've also got Mitch at 13 and 2. I mean, combined total of 30 kills on two players over nine rounds. That's absurd. Living the dream, right? Living the dream. Well, I mean, you look at the other side. Knack yet to get a kill on the board. He's been Oof. playing over at the B-bomb site, not having a good start to this one. Nifty at least starting things off for the uh, terror side of Selfless. He gets the pick. He gets naded and molly down to 21 HP, but he got PKL off the board. And if we learned anything yesterday, PKL has been the most lethal player on this win-out roster throughout this tournament at least. Definitely. We'll see if they can bring it back here and questioning oh! when... I'm watching it... a different point of view, but Relic's actually just shot Uber in the back of the head. That is, uh, you know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes players need a little bit of uh, some motivation yeah, one way or another. Way, Uber. So uh, that's one way of going about it. As we will see, again, this four on five bit with that op towards Shoot. middle. Shoot. The X-ray toggle. Can we get a vac spam here as we uh. see Bit? <laughs> as he's got a teammate with him, Knack. As Knack peeks and he gets shot in the back of the head by Bit. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, immediate well. trade. Nat goes down, Bit finds the frag, and now it will be a three on... I'll make it a two on four as Relics finds another one. Uh, it's going to be two ops left to try and hold off Selfless. Yell finds Relics, but it's a two on three still, and uh, Yell is going off, and that's what we need to see from his AWP. Now two on two. That was a sick shot. Love to see Yell actually step up here, but again, it's just the, the economy game isn't going to warrant him being able to pick up an AWP if they continue to lose these rounds. Even with the money bonus stacking up, they're going to have to go for a full save just to get that rifle back. You got two round trades and things of that nature. And if he's not going to miss that shot on the bit, and now it's all down to Yell. Sees where that came from. Oh, oh he hits the boy. shot on Nifty. He's got an opportunity here. He's got a kit. He's just got to clear out Uber down in CT. Not able to get it done, though. And Uber, even though he's only, he's, he's been quiet, he's five and three. 
but that was one of the most important kills that he could have in this matchup right there, just shutting that down, getting the AWP out of the hands of Yell, who was able to pick up three kills in that one. And honestly, at this point, I went out. you got to take a timeout, man. Yeah. you gotta, you got to gather yourselves moving forward in this one because what you're doing on CT side right now is not working. Yeah. Mac playing solo over at the B-bomb site is not working for you. Switch it up. Put him somewhere else. Put PKL off a cat. Put him into the B-bomb site. See if he can do any work over there because it seems like Knack is like a one-trick pony. He keeps playing these same angles, back plat behind the barrels, up on top of double stack boxes here in, the, in this little corner where Mitch is surely going to be checking this. And he actually abandons it just in time. Yeah, I think they heard him jumping off the boxes and Mitch all over it as Yell. Uh, has a decent flash, but he's just as white screen. Uber finds Destiny in middle. It's only PKL left in a 1v4, a deagle and a dream as he heads up towards the window, and he does hear that bomb Four being planted. I'd love to see it here, and that might be the motivation I they was need. Wrong. Yeah, not, not <laughs> going to be so. Mainline takes him down quite easily, and double digits for selfless. Again, I take a pause moving into this round. I just don't, uh, this is not a 50 50 map. It's maybe a little T sided, like an 8 7, you know what I mean? Like, but not, not, not like this. Not like this. No, not at all. And I mean, they've got a double up set up here on the, uh, on the terrorist side as well, if they so desire it. Um, I mean, they've got all the money that they could possibly want in the world. Even after the buy down, you've got Mitch at fourteen thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. He's only died three times. Relics at eighteen and four. I mean, like I said, those guys combining for over thirty kills. The closest behind him is Mainline and Nifty with seven kills apiece. But even those two players have more kills than the top fragger of the other team. So when your top four players, actually all five of your players, because Uber's at six, the top fragger is Bit and Yell at six for win out. That's just. It's pretty obvious why you're not getting rounds because you're just not fragging right now. And that's the biggest part about it, too, is just they don't have a combined total of a lot of frags. I mean, 12, 17, 19 kills total and 11 rounds for win out. That's not going to win you rounds. Nope. As we continue on here, 12th round, main line is taking some damage. He actually lurked out into B and then was able to get back into tunnels. It was really, really you bizarre. You got on the uh, CT side, too. That's the thing as well is like a lot of these pushes, a lot of these peaks that are coming out from Selfless. Yeah. Especially Mainline. He got, you saw him get punished by Bit twice at mid. They tried to throw a pop flash. Bit peaked on it and killed him twice. Yep. That needs to happen in these gun rounds. They need to be able to punish these early pushes, early peaks from the Selfless side, and they just haven't been able to capitalize on it right now. And look at Uber. Yeah, Uber's in B. So this is uh, following up on Mainline's play here as he will be able to avoid a flash. They spot him out, but this is a lot of presence towards B when the bomb is on catwalk. So Yell able to find that shot. Nutty one as he was widescreened, or so it seemed. And well, we will see Destiny able to follow it up, win out. Looks like they will be able to take their second here. Nifty falls, and it's PKL towards the goose position. And uh, Selfless didn't really check that spot. Just going right for the bomb plant towards Cat. And win out. Uh, desperately need five in this half. Oh, yeah. If they can if they can actually, I know it's, a, it's the worst play on words, but if they can actually win out this half, um, they at least give themselves a little bit of a cushion moving into the second half. Five rounds on CT side at Dust2 is not unmanageable. We've seen uh, some crazier stuff happen. I, I still recall, I think it was a Fnatic versus Nip matchup where it was like 14-1 to 1 on Dust2, and then Fnatic came back and won 15 straight rounds. Um, I'm sure somebody will quote me on that or at least correct me if I'm mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that that was what it was. And I mean, it was just a, a huge recovery and a, and a huge landslide victory that came all the way back. Uh, in the opposite direction. So, again, I mean, it's just one of those things where you might be down, but you're certainly not out. Brazilian CS has shown that. Somebody's going to probably clip that video right there because he, yeah. PKL dives into a smoke. This man How is, is a still ninja. Alive? And he gets back into CT spawn. Bit capitalizes off the fact that they're staring at the smoke that they know a player just entered. That was one of the weirdest plays I have seen in a long, long time. But uh, it's going to be Winnow coming out on top with two frags. I... Try replicating that. I don't think it would ever happen. But you know what? You got to take what uh, you can get at this point. Yeah, I mean, he just made enough noise to distract them to look at that. And Bit's able to just pounce on it. Works out in their favor. PKL still alive. He's fighting against an upper right now. So one shot, one kill anyway, regardless. So not too big of a deal. He's got Yell at long by car, just waiting for that cross to come out. But Relics, he's kind of been the number two upper here for the selfless side. Very capable with that scoped gun as well. Um, so that's kind of the big thing about this is that he can make it work. They can still win this round on Selfless's side. Granted, they only have 30 seconds. they got to figure out where they want to go, but it looks like it's going to be mid to B. And this is actually the right call. They've got one at top side mid to deal with, 
But if they get out through mid and get in towards B, they've only got Knack to deal with. And he misses a shot. That is such a, Oh, these are crucial shots he needs mm. to hit. And now they've got the B bomb site. This is where things get extremely dangerous for win out. Yeah, selfless right back into this. And B bomb site so difficult to retake. We do have two kits, but uh, with two flashes and that's it. Mitch already taking the fight to the CT side, hoping that he can kind of pounce on them before the rotation even comes in. Risky play, but uh, they do come out on top. Three on two. Destiny falls inside of the tunnels via Relics and Yell. Looks like he will just save. So 11 rounds here for Selfless. They had a good start considering that awkward smoke play and the, the double kill from Bit, but they just couldn't build off of it. It was, it was so sloppy there at the end. I mean, they had a five on three. And then it turns into a three on four retake at the B bomb site, or a three on three retake at the B bomb site. And because they had so much time to get in there with Knack not being able to hit those shots, he didn't have any support in middle. They were able to just completely run the gambit. Uh, those are must hit shots. Knack had an opportunity to take two down and make it a 1v3 over in the B bomb site once the plant goes down. Yeah. And he just misses. Those, and those, are, those were easy shots for him to hit. He's sitting behind the back plat box, already looking up towards the window side. Um, and just misses two shots on both of those players coming in through the window. That's just, that's so rough to see. And this is there that PKL go. play again. So, yeah, so they, yeah, spot so they spotted him. He gets into the smoke. And while they're trying to spam that one out, Look at me. Bit just <laughs> Mainline comes in, yeah, literally like shot over either him. shoulder. Yeah. And then, oh. That is just uh, wow. But now look at this buy. Y'all got tagged up here in mid by Nifty or Uber, one of the or Relics, one of the three ops that are now on the t on the terrorist side of Selfless. Yeah, triple op, fairly fairly standard here on Dust Two. Right? Well, look the thing like. about it is they've got so much friggin' money right now. Relics is twenty and five, and Mitch is seventeen and five. So both of those players, I mean, still Nifty mainline and Uber at seven kills apiece. It's been the Relics and Mitch show. Nax still yet to get on the board, but there you go. Nifty's gonna find number eight and uh, see if they can find any more. But Yell, going to miss a shot. Not going to be able to trade that one out immediately, but now they're getting the vibe that this is going to start going towards the A-bomb site, and they're playing heavy on long for the win-out side. Yell is going to back up towards that car area. Oh, they poor we'll Knack. We'll smoke out here, but yeah, it looks like Knack might get some attention. They're heading up Catwalk. They've got a player heading into CT spawn, oh, and actually uh... Knack is going to be ignored here as Yell falls first and foremost, and that is the op that could have at least thinned the, the numbers as they were coming out onto A, but instead it will be a three on five, and Selfless looking primed to take another round. PKL will fire back, but he loses his teammate on the catwalk, and now two on four. Yeah, and again, I mean, it's another situation where Winout should be going for this just because they need to get the rounds on the board, but they're looking like they're going to fall back and save just so that they can carry a couple rifles into the next round. Their economy's been busted up, beaten down, and broken throughout this. I mean, they... They've only got two rounds of money bonus going into this next round, which is the final round of the half. They're down by 10 rounds now. This one, I don't want to say that it's over, but it's not looking good. Winout hasn't really shown me anything on their CT side that's going to be like, oh, they can bring this back on Terrorist side. Um, which kind of makes me a little bit sad since this was their yep. map choice. I figured that they would have a little bit more in the tank uh, on their CT side, especially you know against a team that doesn't really play Dust 2. Yeah, and, and, and Cabo was not banned, and it's actually the third map, and we yeah. saw them they, perform uh, that pretty strong. They, they had even every said opportunity in this, in this series right there. Yeah, so... Uh, Maybe they've got something crazy for us on cash. We don't know. It's true. It's we true. don't know. Maybe their cash game is insane, and they're just... Well, that's oh boy. insult to injury. Knack, he is oh, actually... Oh, Yell finds Nifty through the door with a headshot, and that's, well, a good response. But right. at this point, I just... <laughs> Unfortunately, it just could be too a little, little too, too late, maybe. Exactly. Top mid push, though. And Destiny finding main line and uh, Selfless is a little bit split up at the moment. We'll see Uber miss a shot there as again they're swapping this AWP around a bunch. Destiny does take that shot through the box, so down very low. Uber's going to look to finish him with the tech. Wow, can't get it done though. Yeah, but in the meantime, Yell actually found another scout headshot onto Mitch. PKL does go down. Relics has been the hot hand for the uh, Selfless squad. He could clutch this one out potentially. He's got to be really careful. He's got one at Xbox down there in the bottom side of middle. He's got another one that's in the lower B tunnels. And he does have the bomb on his back, so he's got options as to where he wants to go or what he can do because he still has a minute to work with on the clock. So a lot of time for him to uh, work around this map, and both of the players are kind of just sitting over here, one lower, one mid. This smoke, if we can follow this smoke, let's see where this one ends up landing. I think that... Yeah, that's a nifty little mid to be smoke. That's going to throw a big old fake if... They didn't have a player that was already down yeah, the bottom side of mid. Exactly, right? Yell is but in a position. But I like it. That's uh, a really cool smoke. 
Really and, cool. But look at the rotation. They're coming up on the cat. They know that he's going to be going long now. They know where that smoke came from. Exactly. They're like, ah, we got you. But yeah. uh, Relics, he still has a chance here. He's got 30 seconds. And we're going to see they actually split up a little bit. First 1v1 is given to Yell, though. And he's able to uh, at least get win out that third round. Like we have stated, though, this is not. This is more or less a 50-50 map. Some people will argue slightly a T side, but the point of it is that it's difficult to string rounds together because there's a lot of variables that come into play. And uh, I, I just don't see Winnowed being able to come back in, in this next half. I'd love to see it. Again, I'm not trying to trying to just, uh, say that they're not going to be able to do it, but I just from what we've seen, like you had stated, it's difficult to see it happening. Yeah, and the, the big thing for me is that went out with that third round, that does give him at least a little bit of a buffer going into this next half if they if they were to lose the pistol round. Um, Selfless could get up to 14, and then we could have like a quasi buy come out, and they could you know start to reel things back in. But that's just a that's a huge mountain to climb going into the second half of this matchup. And uh, the biggest part for this, like I said, is I mean they're losing the aim duels. They I expected them to bring more to the table, especially with this being their map pick. I yeah. expected, you know, they they were playing standard CT side setups. They weren't doing anything special, playing an op over by car with Yell or playing in mid, trying to go for the top mid peak. Um, how many times did we see him end up getting legged or tagged through the doors uh, trying to cross just to get that peak? Well, you know, revamp that strat. You know, send him over towards long A, try to get the early aggression over there. And you don't see anything, fall back, take over mid or take over cat control and hold from those different angles. We never saw a fast cat boost for him to look into lower B or to smoke off lower B and look into the top side of mid to try to get that early pick. So uh, a lot of different things that they could have done, but it was a very static CT side. So I didn't really, they didn't really show me anything on CT. Yeah, and well, moving into the next half again, being that they got so little rounds on the CT side, if they don't get pistol, they might not have a chance to really have a great uh, T side, as of course they, they got very little to work with. So um, I, I just don't know if they're going to be able to do it. But of course, it starts with pistol round and, and uh, an experience and a team that wants to get to the point where they are going to be able to perform it and, and win matches like this, you need to be able to bring back maps that, that might not go your way initially. So this is uh, a true test for the win outside. We'll see if they can bring it back. Yeah, and again, it's like I said, I mean, it's a tremendous individual performance on uh, on the selfless side. Now, before we did a little bit of the math and we actually saw that it was 30 kills for Mitch and Relics, uh, I think it was nine rounds in or 10 rounds into that matchup. We're now 15 rounds in and it's 40 kills between those two players. Living the dream. That's honestly, that's insane. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're, they're really doing big things and we'll see if they can keep it up. Mainline getting very aggressive in the middle. Trying to take a duel with a player inside of T-Spawn. That's Yell. No one uh, taking any damage yet, though. Uber aggressive on Catwalk with a teammate. And they've actually pushed players through B completely. So Relics is in T-Spawn. They are all over the fact that it's either they're going to slip in the middle from that kind of long A T side of house. Uh, but Ooh. instead, it's going to be a, a push up long A. And mainline goes down first and foremost. And they actually, they've got the smokes on point. So you can tell that they've got a pretty well-rehearsed terrorist side here. Relics on this mid flank might be able to take down Yell, and he does actually do that. But the smokes on Cat and into CT spawn, and they're going to push it, and they double push it in two different angles. And I like that because that's just going to create confusion. Uber's not going to be able to take them both down. In the last two CTs, Mitch and Relics are going to be flanking around from long A. And hopefully, I believe it's Knack up in sight's going to hear this. And he gets the first one, gets traded. But again, playing it for Cat. Three players on Cat. Ooh. There you go. So checking out the angles and everything like that. Of course, we know that there's nobody playing over by quad on cat box, but he has no way of knowing that, so he tries to clear that in case the trade comes from that area, and it's actually all three players that are on cat. So a nice job from Winout. That was a nice strat. You saw the smoke get thrown from long aim next to dumpster to land there to go down into CT spawn, and uh, just an all-around really nice strat, isolating those players on the A bomb site. Here we go. That was the, the much-needed pistol round to start the road to the comeback here, and... We will see a fairly disciplined buy from Selfless, and I, I love to see that as we've been highlighting, the desk has been highlighting it oh, as well, on the CT side. And Garrett's been ripping apart teams for going for that second round CT force up yep. and not having the utility. You saw it in the TSM matchup earlier. Exactly, and, and James brought up a stat that blows my mind in terms of Liquid in that they were 0 for 52 on their second round buys on the CT side. That's just, that is incredible. And that's enough info that you should know it's probably not the best idea, but of course, it's very tempting. And well, moving into this round again, they haven't bought too much, so. A little well, song and dance here along. Yeah, no doubt. Knack is gonna be jumping back and forth. He does have the bomb at his feet, and he collects it as Uber. Might try and find a timing here as he hears them run towards middle, but it's Mitch to fall first in the 
foremost towards middle. Yeah, and Yell actually spots him. He's the one that's got the scout, so he does about 83 points of damage to him. There's the early peak out there in middle. There is a little bit of a gap in that smoke in CT, and they're going to do some serious damage on the Nifty, but they're going to come back over towards Cat. Mainline's got to hit these one digs. He's not going to be able to make it happen. His bit sweeps him under the rug with the MAC-10, and yet to have a point of damage. Well, I'm sorry, 79 for bit right now, but the rest of them very alive and very healthy, and bit's going to pick up a second one on the round. So this is going to be really, really difficult for Selfless. I mean, this is a pure anti-eco. They picked up a couple of upgraded pistols, but no armor, no nades, no nothing to go along with that. So, And uh, it doesn't look like they're... Well, they do get a kill out of this. Uber was actually hanging around long A for a really, really long time uh, after he got tagged by that scout. But again, this is going to be a fifth round now for Winout. And uh, we'll see if they can continue to bring things back. That nade, almost a touchdown. Almost not quite. It'll be Knack with the MAC-10, though, and... Uh It'll be a nice anti-eco for the win outside. So one round at a time. Selfless again on 12. And uh, considering they're, they're light by in the last, they can actually afford to buy a little bit in this one as well. And they're mm -hmm. still in better shape than getting that for, or just going for the force buy in the last round. Uh, or full buy, rather. So they will get a couple things here or there. Mainline with a flash. And it looks like they'll go for a quick catwalk play. And Mainline is going to provide some sort of assistance as he heads back towards middle. So here we go. He's going to flash over, and they're going to try and take advantage. They do white screen two players in top middle, but uh, nice long range angles here from the win outside. Yeah, and they played the anti nades really, really well. But they're going to come back on long A, and this is going to be really scary for Destiny. He's going to lose the AK, and Knack is in jeopardy right now. He is down to 20 HP. It is a three on three right now, as Knack was able to take one down, but they've salvaged the AK from long. Nifty pushed up boldly and was able to pick that one up and fall all the way back. I, I expect to see him throw that over to either Mainline or Mitch just because they've got a lot more HP to work with. And there you go. He's going to throw it up to Mitch on the top side of A plat. He's going to pick up a 5-7 and uh, at least resign himself for a little while longer. But this is still far from being over. PKL is one shot from being dead. Knack is one shot from being dead. Yell is only on a scout, but he does have 100 HP. So this, uh, this round is far from over right here. 50 seconds for Winno to try and salvage the situation. Yell will uh, be gifted that AK instead. Gives uh, PKL the scout. And I like that decision to yeah. create Yell as a uh, kind of front man, if you will, as he will be posting up and pushing forward here towards the mid double doors. We've got Nifty inside of CT spawn. He's peering towards the long A cross, but uh, as that smoke goes down, Probably guess what is going on here as Mainline still inside of the B-bomb site. Nifty is able to find PKL from CT spawn. Oh, and there's only 15 seconds here. This he is just looking... dinked him in window two from CT. And that's it. That's it right there. Mainline takes down the bomb planter. Fully white screen is yell, and he will fall as well. Selfless. Take a round before they are able to get rifles on the field. That was all nifty right there, man. That smoke comes out in CT. He hops up on top of the boxes, kills one of the low HP players, actually hit the other guy and took him to 2 HP, and then dinked the guy going through window and dropped him down to red HP as well. And then Mainline was just there for the cleanup playing behind Xbox in the back of that bomb site. So really nicely done from, uh, from Selfless. And we're going to see them with a golden opportunity to move forward into this one. But it is going to be a pretty formidable buy from the uh, terrorist side right now. And you can see a scout in the hands of Nifty as he's going for this little mid-pick battle against uh, Yell's AWP. So, a little risky. We'll see. We'll be tagged here. Nifty, that is. Yell able to finally get a shot through the mid-double doors to connect. And Relics is actually going to switch up uh, positioning with Nifty. I like the way that they decide to do that, as uh, Nifty can actually play. This is a spot I was hoping he'd play. It's a headshot angle, and it's a jumper. So it's just so difficult to hit it. Oh, ragdoll, baby. Oh, boy. Yeah, that was. He just uh, got knocked to the moon. Yeah. Let us know how that is up there as uh, Nifty off of the map currently, and it'll be a four on five. Yeah, but that's exactly what they were looking for. I mean, Destiny is down to 28 HP, but they've at least swung the man advantage back. If they are able to trade this round, there's not a lot of money to work with on the selfless side. If they don't trade this round. There's no money to work with on the win outside. And it's actually an information gathering uh, strategy right now here for Team Selfless as they're pushing up aggressively through tunnels. They're going to need down on the PKL, take him down to 71, soften him up a little bit, and Relics is going to get in his face. And uh, they're going to look to trade this one back into a 4v4. But in the meantime, because they pushed tunnels, Terrorist side has capitalized and started to push out in towards mid. So there's nobody actually watching because they're also aggressive from Selfless on long A. So this is like this round is all over the place right now. Mainline is going to flash himself back in towards long, but the push is going to be coming in towards the B-bomb site. 
And Mitch spots a player coming through the window, eventually takes him down, and back Drop and forth bomb. we go. 15 seconds. Yeah, there's very little time. PKL and Destiny need to pull out, basically sprint in, and uh, through Molotov, Destiny is not going to make it. Rest in peace, as we will see the 1v2, and actually PKL, I think he just backed up into the fire, he didn't recognize blind, yeah. it. With uh, still hanging around, so that'll be another one here that for <laughs> the selfless side relics, you beautiful, beautiful human being. My goodness gracious. I just want to go down there and touch it. It's, yeah, all right. I, th I don't know if you'd be okay with that, but <laughs> maybe ask first. Nah. Nah, yeah, teach their own, right? So there you go, all right. So we're on 14 to 5 right now, and this is going to be a pistol armor buy. And Mitch is going to get aggressive behind this, and there's first blood already. He just did the bit what Bit was doing to mainline in the last half. Get aggressive behind that in mid, and he's going to be able to find that opening pick. And again, Uber's going to chime in. They've got heavy reinforcements. Uber's actually all the way up to the top side of mid, too. And if these guys fall back out along, well, Destiny eliminates him. But that could have gotten them very, very dangerous for the uh, win out side. This is a must-win round for win out. Yeah, certainly is. It'll be map point after this round. Selfless are able to pick it up. And on a three on four, time is on their side. So silver lining at the moment for win out as they got a minute 10. But with their utility, smoke and two flashes, and uh, the weaponry, it's not looking too good as they'll head towards long A. And at least they have that smoke for the cross, PKL. Let's see what you got, as I imagine. Uh, oh, he's actually going to smoke towards CT spawn. A little bit of a deeper smoke here as uh, you can see it landing nicely. Nifty, white screened. Perfect on the flash. platform, and now he's going to have to fall back. Chance here for a win out if they can get across. Yeah, and they've actually gotten up. They've taken down main line. Nifty is stuck in quad box. He's going to have to hit some shots, but he's given up his position. Just trying to distract long enough for him to be able to catch somebody out. Oh, he's going to hit the shot on the neck. Can he get more out of this position? Switches over to the P250, just buying time for his teammates. PKL actually killed Destiny. And Oof. then PKL falls to Relics. It's mistakes across the board for went out. They went so aggressive to try to clear out that one player at quad when they could have just played from Goose, A ramp, dropped into CT, something like that, and just left him alone. So unfortunately, that's going to be selfless up on 15 now, one round away from putting map one to bed. And uh, I know that our analysts are going to have a lot to say about this one because for a pick, and here it is, here's the TK. Oh, no, right in right the, the heel. Achilles tendon, man. Right. That's got to be painful. Well, Destiny's going to be limping the rest of this match. Certainly is. It'll be 15 to 5. Selfless one away. And the buy for the T's. Not fantastic yell. With the Tech 9, finds a nice drive by into uh, lower tunnels. It was actually a flash from, uh, I think, his teammate in middle that helped him out. But Mitch and Relic's able to find some action back for the selfless side. And it'll be Knack and PKL trying to keep the Dust 2 dream alive. Yeah, three on two, they can still do this. Bomb dropped in terrorist spawn. They're going to pick that up, PKL, down here in lower B. But again, I mean, it, it, it's like I said, Relics is kind of, I mean, he's up at 27 and 11 right now. Mitch has actually joined him at 27, so now you've got a combined total of 54 kills between these two guys, which is absurd. Yeah. 20 rounds in, 21 oh, yeah. rounds in, 54 kills between two players. Mitch is going to get aggressive on Cat. I don't really necessarily like that call. They're actually just pinching on mid right here, and it's got to be Knack to come up huge. Uh, he's got to be able to find this kill on the... There you go. He does find the kill on the Uber. He at least extend it a little longer. And he's the one player in the server that's been struggling the most. He's only at 7, 3, and 18. He was like 0 and 11 or 0 and 12 to start this match off. Maybe even 0 and 13. I think he was actually 0 and 13. Yeah. Um, had like one kill going into the second half of this one. Picks up a couple in the pistol. Starts to get his, uh, his confidence back a little bit. And, well, nine match points they have to save. Yikes. Here we go. And we will see uh, an interesting buy here from the selfless side. They've got uh, the op of Nifty, but to mention that as he finds a frag and Uber is able to find. Oh my God. Wow, just devastation in middle main line. He's able to find a handful and well, the <clears throat> scout will be able to finish it off. So 16 to six selfless dominant performance here on the map choice of Winout. Yeah, and again, you know, it's it was individual performance there from selfless. They were playing great team CS, but Mitch and Relics just stepped up in a monstrous way. Finished it with 54 combined kills. And it's just, I mean, that's insane to think about because if you combine all three of the remaining players from their team, that, that doesn't even add up to that much. I think it was like 13, 12, and 12 for the other three players. So that was just a monster performance from those guys. And like I said, within like the first three rounds, that Relics needs to be, you know, one of those guys, one of those point men. He needs to step up today. And his... his um, performance yesterday was very lackluster uber as well 
Um, Mitch had a couple of really, really nice rounds yesterday, but overall, Selfless, you know, they won their first map, and they got bodied in their second map. So it was nice to see Relic step up in a big way. It was nice to see Mitch step up in a big way, and hopefully they can carry that on forward because if they win this, they're going to be facing off against probably one of the most, if not the most difficult opponents in the tournament in Tempo Storm. Yeah, no, it's going to be very difficult, but uh, we are going to send it back to the analysis desk. They have plenty to say about this, I imagine. Thank you, Sprawl. Actually, we don't have a ton to say. <laughs> uh, that was pretty quick nope. work here from Selfless, but a great CT side. I think we have to talk about Relics, So When we look at this Selfless team, Relics was a name that we didn't bring up a whole lot, especially in their second match later in the day when they absolutely just got stomped out by Optic Gaming. Today he came to play. What did you see from him, Garrett? Honestly, I, all I see when I when I think about Relics is that dirty duster he's rocking right now. He looks like he can sweep some floors with that mustache. <laughs> like That's all I got for him. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> It's his uh, playoff beard, right, James? Is that, yeah, was they, that the conversation? Uh, he's trying with it. Yeah, they, they actually it's kind said, of patchy. They actually said that. It was their playoff as, beard for uh, for the event. As a 30-year-old who <laughs> also cannot grow any facial hair, I feel for him. <laughs> okay, so uh, Relics has always been kind of, uh, I would say, support, but he's always there. He's consistent in in his support. I, I, I like him as a player. I think he helps uh, augment and lift the rest of the players on the team, but this match he just cleaned up. So I think it was more about uh, the Brazilians not really getting any momentum or swing in their economy to give them any type of punch or fight with any anything. So I, I wrote down a list of every round that they lost, and I, I count four or five times that they, they, they won one, lost one, and they just got reset throughout the match. And so that's happened a couple times, but... It, what you need to focus on is you keep three, like, so you win the first gun round that you get a chance. You finally swing the momentum in your favor. You got to keep three alive so that you can buy and have full utility to then work and play as a team, to throw mollies, to throw smokes, throw flashes, and work as a team. You can't beat a team. It's not just with the guns. It's the utility, and if you're on catwalk with, and you have ten flashes thrown at you from terrorists and you have you know, three or four, you're going to lose that battle. You're going to be getting killed blind and you're never going to get a chance to fight. So it's not only about the rounds that you finally that you finally win or, oh, you keep losing. It's when you win, you need to win uh, big and you need to w make sure that you maintain your economy. Is it ever worth, if you have three guys left and you have a chance to still win the round, is it ever worth to just walk away with those three guns? Yeah, it happens all the time. All like, the time. All, I mean, that's, you actually have to make that decision where you're... You're close where you have to – usually the, the trigger for that is if you don't know where one of their guys are, and you, you okay, they planted a bomb somewhere, and you're like, okay, I know where two are. Say it's even a 3v3. Hell, even like a 2v3. If you don't know where one of those are and you knew he was somewhere behind you and he could be in like two to three places now, he's essentially two or three guys because you have to c account for all those situations. So, you, yes, it's – Really important um, where you have to make sure that when you ex exit that round, that's where the experience comes, where if you frivolously, if you don't trade on that time, you're like so frustrated, you're like, oh, we're losing 9-1. Nine 9-1 and one. Nine and one isn't 9-1. and one. It's, it's like a, a, a pistol loss, one. It's fourth round gun round, you get reset. It's that next gr gun round, you get reset. That's only three mistakes. If right. the whole team only made one mistake per person, that's pretty much an entire half of like 12-3. So it's, it's really about clearing your mind and just being like, hey, let's let them make a couple mistakes. Let's make, play mistake-free CS. Let's get back onto it. So they, I don't even think they got a chance to really play CS. So I know people are like, oh, they got beat up. They got mopped up. Do I think they played well? No. But I, I think it really comes on the small micro decisions when you're retaking a site and you are like you have that small trade where oh that guy had 30 HP and he died too bad no that's your all your smoke small it's that's where you never gain any momentum to swing a team and make it 8-7 and have a, a second game a second half dropping knowledge bombs right there GB James Papa everybody. James uh, Garrett let's let's get your thoughts here really quickly I know we want to get into map number yeah. two coming up soon but this was Winout's map what do they got to fix man. Honestly, I think now, I, I don't want to say for certain, but I think I've seen enough. Enough? In terms of, like, you know what, like, they, they, they're cobble, <laughs> yeah. their cobbles are their map that we, when we talked to them, they said that's the one they favor. Mm -hmm. So now that that's out and they play Selvis on, sorry, I made a mistake in, in the pregame analysis. They actually, uh, ban Dust 2 the second most. It's not the perma ban, cobbles the perma ban. Okay. So they, they're not a fan of Dust 2, and they just got smashed on Dust 2. 
So I would just say that it's 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 over. Kasha will be like 16-4, 16-6 max, maybe I would say, unless they win pistols again on a roll. But uh, I love the guys, but it's not. We it, did it's, say it's that about Team Caliber coming into the tournament. They had no chance, and it looked like for a moment they were going to beat NRG. Yeah, they have the Mirage, opportunity. But, they have the chance, but but Winout's got to get hype. We talked about it earlier in the weekend. They came in flat. They got dominated their first round. They came in with a lot of energy. They had success against Winter Fox. Well, today they came in with all kinds of energy and they still got bopped. So, yeah. <laughs> James, do you have any suggestions here? Is there anything they can do to force a game three? Uh, Yell started playing pretty good. Uh, he actually had some pretty pretty good clips. But I, I think that if they actually, I don't think they even got to play CS. They didn't. They, they, they only got they, a few rounds, really. Yeah. But. Well, I mean, like they never got a chance to play the normal CS that everybody's accustomed to. And I, and I mean, explain full, that for the noobs out full there. Full utility. Hey, a fourth round gun round. Like, the, like you're always every time they bought, it was uh, the. the they had like a smoke a piece, and what that looks like is, uh, it, you know, you smoke upper B on dust two, and you wait there, and it's gone within 15 to 20 seconds, and then all of a sudden they start terrorists start pressuring you from two places, and you never, you don't get to like, hey, I'll help you, buddy, throw something, help my teammate. It's all individual, and you get broken down. So I think selfless is the better individual fraggers. We saw that round where Knack missed two off shots when they were coming through the window. Yeah. Um, I don't think that right now, you said they're casual players right now. They haven't really committed their lives fully to CS. I think they might have a plan to do so. Mm -hmm. So they're a little bit rusty, maybe a lot of knowledge on a couple of the players. I, I think that they're outskilled. So unless they get a chance to use that teamwork, you saw in their T pistol that they all went and took catwalk together. Uh, and they like, you saw that kind of. Um, uh, that Brazilian uh, they had love, of like, in a sense, they, yeah. they got great teamwork. They, they just never got a chance to use that. So. In cash. Credit to Selfless on that, though, yeah. by the way. It's not just about the Brazilians. It's yeah, yeah. credit to Selfless for keeping they their kept economy the, down. No, they kept the pressure on them nonstop. Yeah, they didn't give them anything. They yeah. ended the rounds quick. Yeah, they they oh, they were flooding everywhere. They had like two to three ops. They were outskilling them, and there was never a chance. So on cash, it's cash, yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So on cash, um, if, if, if they can win a pistol, they might be able to swing something in their favor and get some momentum. If they don't, I, I could see it being another train wreck. comes down to this first pistol round, I have yeah. a feeling. It, <laughs> it, it, it always does. <laughs> yeah. Well, in this, it really does. Yeah. yeah. You, you they need, they need momentum. They, After getting flash like that, like a lot of time you can take that momentum. Like I see it all the time in CS where a team gets destroyed, and then they come back and win that second map. Yeah. It's all but, out the window. But like, if you don't win pistol, then that whole momentum that you were trying to gain back, it just go, it just ends. They they've proven that they do not right now know how to swing a game back into their favor. They get down, they do not how, know how to really regain their economy, slow it, call a timeout. I didn't see a timeout. They, well, they I, did. I it was a two one. and eleven and, or a nine and one. I was like. Uh, you know, maybe you should call timeout now. I, there was none of that to really slow it down and really, like, I, as a rule, this is for something I learned at the major, but also it's just a rule I had in the team. At 0 and 6, possibly 0 and 7, uh, definitely there yeah. should be a timeout. When you get to the midpoint and the 15, yeah. that's when you should call it. Like, you <laughs> yeah. know, like, I've seen teams call it when there's 12 rounds already gone by, and that's just a waste of a timeout. Yeah. The only thing I could say is, why, like, when you're getting destroyed, like, 10 1, like you said, they only had, like, two gun rounds. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, you can call a timeout, but like at that point, I don't think it's a, uh, a strategy timeout. It's more of like regrouping your, your boys mentally because you've only had two gun rounds to really use, but the score is 9-1. Yeah. It's like, it's more about just, hey, let's stop the downslide. Yeah. If, if we can, I'd love to get a camera. There it is on our players. I want to see how is Winout feeling. Are there any smiles? Is there any positivity coming in? See the coach going over some last-minute plans coming into cash. If you are this Winout squad, clearly you need to win the pistol rounds. Yep. How do you abuse Selfless? How do you put them on the back foot? Because we saw what Optic did to them once Selfless didn't have an economy. Yeah, they, well, what happened with uh, Selfless, or it was Optic, when Optic trounced Selfless, they really just let them uh, come to them and they played really, they, actually they had the opposite. It was almost, they had the high utility on the CT side. They really broke apart the terrorist strategies. Uh, I think that the Brazilians get to use that teamwork if they, if they, like I said, if they win pistol, it, it really determines on that. Like it's, it. I feel like they could get some momentum. Just win the pistol. Yeah. The, I, it's over on the fifth, the first round. Like with Selfless, the way they play on cash, uh, they play pretty. Uh, if they still play the same way, they play pretty spread out. Where they have two guys attacking B, they have two guys attacking A, and they like they they go for the picks. So if they're going to do that, they're very good at it. 
the Brazilians have a chance if they're able to either overwhelm that one part of the map and maybe take uh, take control of it, or they have to just win those individual battles. But I honestly don't see how they can do that without with right now how selfless is on a roll, how their skills taking over, but then they have a chance anyway. I love the intensity here from the Brazilian team. We went out on the other side. We just saw Ryu walking behind us. He is all smiles, selfless, feeling so calm and confident <laughs> coming into this next one. Guys, we're gonna wrap this one up here as we do have another match after this. Later in the day, we are gonna see TSM going up against Optic Gaming, but I gotta get your predictions here, guys. What rounds are we gonna see you're all calling selfless to take this one 2-0, but how are they going to do it? What fashion, Garrett? I'm going to go 16-7. Uh, okay, so I'm going to say... Uh, uh, <laughs> that's what I would have picked. I'm going to say 16-10. Yeah, I'll no. go 16-7 with them. I, I, I'm Be okay. Twins. I'm no, okay with 16-7. I like it. No, I like no, here, here's no. Uh, that that Brazilian <laughs> circle they just did where they all held hands and like that thing, the brotherly love thing. That, that makes me. That pulls my heartstrings. I want them to win. I want them to come back. I just don't think that they're going to. We'll have to see how it all plays out, guys. Win out, one game away from being eliminated from the tournament. Selfless could secure the final spot in the playoff bracket with a win. Here is their map coming up next.